welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Ms. Sharp with Dreams Gone Mobile. And today we're gonna to be discussing how to start a food truck menu. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you click that like and subscribe button. And if you have, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. So let's get started. So today we're gonna to be talking about tip number one, which is the KISS method. The KISS method is basically what you've heard in the past. Keep it super simple. What I mean by that is a lot of people like to overbear the entire menu with like 20, 25 items. And honestly, when you have a food truck business, there's no need for you to have so many items. I'm talking about things like chicken. So if you have a lot of items that have chicken in it, it's gonna be easier for you shopping wise when it comes to that. So chicken quesadilla, chicken strips, chicken nuggets, whatever that is, or steak. So what I'm trying to say is when you're keeping it super simple, try to keep it in regards to the same type of items but made in different kinds of ways. So for tip number two, we're gonna be discussing checking out your competition. Your competition is crucial. Who's around you, what you're serving, all those things take into account when you're starting your food truck business. When you're doing your pricing and you're trying to figure out how much you wanna charge, what you're trying to serve, these are things that you wanna scope out with your competition. What's missing in the area? Is there any fried chicken? Is there any type of pancakes? Whatever it is that you're good at cooking, scope out the area that you're gonna be around and make sure that you check out their menu. This is gonna help you with giving the idea of how much your food should be costing when you're serving out of the food truck. All right, everyone, so tip number three is calculating food truck costs. So with that, like I mentioned before, you want to make sure that you're comparing your prices with all your competitors. See how much their cost is for their food and then compare that with the cost that it takes for you to purchase the food that is going from the store. With that, I do have a food cost calculator that you can actually access in my Facebook group. So make sure that you join my Facebook group. It's called Food Truck for Starters. There's also a lot of good material that you can download from there. Tip number four is having a featured item. So with that, you want to make sure you have something that's hot. You know, something that someone's asking you to do. So have you ever had that person say, hey, you remember when you did a hot dog with all this condiments or ingredients on it? When are you gonna make that again? And that's a perfect example of having a hot item. When someone is telling you they want something or if your crowd is asking you to do something, that's something that you wanna listen to. Why? Because obviously the crowd likes it. So if they like it, you wanna gravitate to that, right? It's always great to adjust to your menu, which we'll talk more about that in a little bit. But ultimately, when someone's asking for a hot item, obviously it's something that is a featured item that you should have every single month. And of course, social media, thankfully, has the opportunity for you to just post whatever you want for what's coming up ahead. So if you have a featured item for the month of May, the month of whatever the case is, make sure that you put that on there and let people know what is to come. And it should definitely be something that's outside of your menu. So another good way when it comes to a featured item is thinking of something like a TikTok trending item that went viral. So what I mean by this is something like Squid Games. If you guys have seen Squid Games, what they did was recreate this item with sugar made into some type of caramel. Ultimately, what I'm trying to say is that it went viral and a lot of people started doing that. So with that, for your food truck, what you can try to do either weekly, monthly, however you want to, is recreate an item that is trending or went viral and recreate it in your own way so that you can sell it to your people and have people come out just because there's something that's trending on TikTok. Tip number five is the final step. And the only reason why I keep this as a final step because ultimately this is like a trial and error period. Gravitate to what sells. There was a time when I had my food truck business and there were certain items I just did not sell. One of my main hot items that did sell though were tacos and chicken wings. So I knew not to remove that from my menu, but I did know that I didn't sell too many hot dogs or I didn't sell too many burgers. And so what I did was I gravitated to what I saw that was selling according to my reports. And then I readjusted myself. So when you're trying to do something like that, I would definitely consider getting a group of people, even do like a soft opening and create a couple items, see what sells in that soft opening or in your grand opening, and then readjust from there. Or you can also ask your friends if they can go out to check you out and that you can try out some items. That way you can see what they like, what they don't like, what would they prefer. And there are some constructive criticism that you will deal with, but ultimately the goal is to just make sure that you're successful in this. And this is why I keep this for last. The reason why is because we're just doing this trial and error. We gotta see what works and what doesn't work. So make sure you gravitate to what sells. 
Thank you everyone for watching my YouTube video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you give me a thumbs up and click that like and subscribe button. Also, if you wanna be a part of this community or you wanna learn more about how to start a food truck business, make sure that you join my Facebook group with the links below.